New at 6, Milwaukee's Pride Parade will march down city streets almost a month from today. But they are doing it without a grand marshal. That's because one of the committee chosen was removed after they say that she made transphobic comments. Rebecca Clough is live in the newsroom. She says that the comments are pro-woman and not apologizing for those comments. Rebecca. That's right, Shannon. Miriam Ben Shalom has been a longtime gay activist. She was honored when she was asked to lead the parade, but now she's upset with how her own group is classifying her. The Pride Parade in Milwaukee kicks off in a month. The final preparations are going on without Miriam Ben Shalom. She should have been the Grand Marshal, but the parade committee removed her from the job after they say she posted statements to her Facebook that were transphobic. They furthered the dialogue that trans women are nothing more than men wearing dresses who want to get into women's dress, dressing rooms, locker rooms, and bathrooms to do very bad things to women. Not true, says Miriam. She supports transgender people, but she believes in spaces like locker rooms where only women are allowed. I do not think that trans women are molesters or abusers or anything like that, but there are perverts. And that's what this is really about. Miriam is a longtime gay activist. She served in the army and says she was forced to leave after coming out as a lesbian. She protested against the military's don't ask, don't tell policy and was invited to the White House when it ended. She says when the Pride Parade wanted to honor her for that work, she was flattered. But when they told her her services were no longer needed, it was through an email only after she reached out. I'm angered by it. She absolutely can have these opinions. However, they do not mesh up with those of the Milwaukee Pride Parade. Now, Miriam Ben Shalom says she will no longer be attending the parade. She's going out of town for the weekend. The parade committee won't have a grand marshal this year. Instead, they're writing the names of gay right act activists who have died on a bus, which will start off the parade. Charles and Shannon. All right, Rebecca, thanks.